Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Deluxe Class Barricade from Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy. If you're keeping score at home, this is the third time we are getting the Prowl Mold. Uh, but I don't even care. I love the mold. I like all the characters they're doing so far. In fact, I'm still looking for Blue Streak, which will be the fourth time we're using this mold. And I gotta find him, track him down. He's a Walmart exclusive. Really nice artwork here on the side of Barricade, which is very cool. Then you have that standard picture we always have on the side of all the Siege releases. Here is Barricade in robot mode, car mode. Of course, he's compatible with all the Battlemasters. Everyone in the line is. That's old news at this point. Let's go ahead and get Barricade out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So here is Barricade out of the packaging, and I have to say, it looks really sharp. I really like the color scheme. You have this black with kind of the translucent purple here on the wheels as well, which we'll get to a little bit later on. But then you have this, like light purplish gray color for the arms and the torso and his thighs but it kind of works i think it all works i really like the black i think that's really sharp this like matte paint finish up here also looks really cool with the decepticon symbol uh taking a look at the head sculpt the gold face looks great he does have red eyes but they're a little recessed and uh because of the kind of large crest on his head it makes him a little hard to see quite honestly but i think the red eyes with the gold face black head Metallic purple for the crest there all works really well. Decepticon symbol looks really cool as well. You can see he's got some uh, simulated wear and tear here on the sides of his torso because that's the front of the car in car mode. So very neat. Um, but yeah, so he is a character in the ongoing IDW series uh, since they rebooted it. At least I, I don't know if it was before that i've only been reading it since they rebooted it uh but he's definitely been in the comics since they rebooted it um it's just another chance to use the prowl mold really um i know i guess i'm wondering if the inspiration came from uh there obviously was a barricade in the michael bay movies that was a police car but that was a completely different mold so they were just like, well, we want a Decepticon police car. We'll call him Barricade. Just reuse the Prowl mold. So I don't know. That's my guess. But it works. I don't care. I like the mold. <laughs> I think he looks really good. So I was happy to pick him up when I found him. Um, whoops. And then I knocked him over. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, he looks really good. Articulation, exactly the same as Prowl's. Head can move side to side. A little bit of back and forth, but not too much. Spin here in the shoulder. You can move the shoulder if you want to move these down, you can. I think they're supposed to stay up, though. But you have this joint here. You have a bicep swivel. You have 90 degrees in the elbow. Wrist can swivel. Waist swivel. Pretty much full range of motion here in the hip. You have a thigh... Don't you have a thigh swivel? Yeah. What? Ooh, maybe not, actually. It just looks like it. Okay. Oh, no, here it is. The thigh swivel's up here. For a second, I thought it was down here, but it's up here. He does have a thigh swivel. 90 degrees in the knee. And then you have back and forth a little bit, but then you have the tilt as well in the ankle. So all the articulation you would want. He does have three accessories here. He's got a light bar, uh, which is kind of a weird... It's like painted red underneath. But it's a translucent purple. You can put this back here. This is where I usually keep prowls. So I'm just going to leave his back there. If you want to use it by pegging it into any of the holes. It, they're all the same size uh, diameter and everything. So uh, you can. He's got the two shoulder cannons. Very much like uh, smoke screen. So if you want. You can peg these in up here. If you like that look. But I don't believe he has these shoulder cannons. So what they do is they peg together like this. And then you can see that makes one solid peg. Which you then drop into his hand. And then he uses a double barrel gun like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take these out of his hand. And we'll go ahead and get into the transformation. If you've transformed Prowl or Smokescreen, or if you have Blue Streak, they're all the same. So the first thing you're going to do is unhook the torso here. This will lift up. This will come back. This piece will flip up here and fill in the hole in the hood of the car. 
this that was kind of the abdomen will flip into the hood like that. You're going to spin him at the waist, 180 degrees. You're going to fold down these heels, fold this up, push these together. And then you're going to rock this up here. You'll see that there are two loops, one right there and there, and they're going to peg into these pegs right here and here. So drop this down and peg those in. You don't have to peg them in super tight. They're really just kind of a guide to make sure you have it lined up. Make sure this is in. This is going to come down. You might have to remove the light bar at this point just for clearance. And then once you have that all in there where it's supposed to go, you can replace the light bar just like that. You're going to close the doors and they will all peg in. There we go. You might have to line everything up and kind of force it together, but it will go. You don't have to force it too hard. And then this will fold in. Oops, nope, sorry, haha, -ha, you have to turn these. <laughs> I'm like, I know I'm forgetting a step here, what am I doing? Then these should drop in. Like this, and then the arms will just pop straight down, like that. And there you go. You have the Decepticon police officer vehicle mode. I really like the color scheme. It works really well. Again, I love this stripe of matte finish gray. It just really pops. Again, the Decepticon symbol looks great. The white on the side looks really good. The translucent purple for the wheels works. All of this translucent purple up top here works as well. I like it a lot. If you want, you can take these and peg them in here for vehicle mode weaponry. But yeah, this is really solid. Again, I just think it's kind of funny that it's the Prowl mold, but I would say it works better for just about everyone besides Prowl. And that's not to say that Prowl didn't pull it off, but it looks better as Smokescreen and it looks better as Barricade. I think Prowl was just too much white. But yeah, this is really sharp. I like this quite a bit. I like Barricade a lot. I just think his color scheme is really perfect, fits this mold well. He looks excellent in both robot and vehicle mode. Transformation is easy and fun. I love the use of the two shoulder guns into this double-barreled blaster here. I think that works really well. If you want to give him the two uh, shoulder cannons, you can certainly do so, so you have the option. I still think the legs for this mold are a little weird. It's kind of been my constant complaint across Prowl and Smokescreen and now Barricade. But... I mean, it is what it is. At this point, there's no sense complaining about the mold. We're just going to see it again as Blue Streak. I'm not going to complain about it again. But this guy definitely looks great. I definitely recommend picking him up. He bolsters the Decepticon ranks. Yes, it is a repaint of a mold you may already have twice, but I still think it's a really great repaint. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.